Got another question for the Synoptic Questions playlist. As always, the link to the questions in the description of the video if you want to try it first. Okay, so for the first part, we've just got to draw these complex ions in 3D. So octahedral complexes, so we're starting with an empty octahedron. So we have the central ion, straight up, straight down, two back, and then the two sticking out. And then all we need to do is apply three of these. So they join via the single bonded O. So we do that. So there's one on. I'll just put the others here and here. So there they are there. We'll just put a square bracket around it and explain the charge. So we're told that this is ion 3 plus in the middle and the ion you can see has a 2 minus charge. So obviously we've got three two minus charges, so six minus with three plus gives an overall charge of three minus. Next thing I need to do is draw the mirror image of this. So I'll start with my empty octahedron and all I need to do now is mirror with the position of the ligands onto the right hand um, octahedron. So we'll start on the right hand side here. So we've got this ligand here and then the other one there. And then this one down here. Obviously this has got three minus charge as well. So moving on to the titration now. So the first thing we've got to do is work out the colour change for this self-indicating titration. So if you think about it, we've got the colourless um, ethane dioic acid in here. And we've got this yellow CE4 plus solution. So as this goes into here, it reacts and is decolorized. As soon as all that's gone, that's not going to have anything to react with and it'll stay yellow. So the color change is colorless to yellow. So for the calculation, the first thing we're going to do is work out the, the three titras for these accurate titrations. And then we'll establish the mean titra from them. So hopefully you can see that titrations one and three are concordant. So we're going to use those for the mean, so they're within 0.1 of each other. This is not concordant, so we're going to ignore that one. So the mean titra is 23.20 centimeters cubed. So for the first part of the calculation, I'm going to work out the moles of CE4 plus concentration times volume. So that mean titra in decimeters cubed. So that's coming out at 1.16 times 10 to the minus 3. The moles of the ethane dioic acid is going to be half as much. So that's coming out at 5.80 times 10 to the minus 4. We want to know how many moles of ethane dioic acid are in those leaves. So what we need to do is multiply by 10 to get the number of moles that are in the 250. They're going to be the same as what's in the beaker here, which is obviously come from the leaves. So we're just going to multiply this by 10, which is obviously 5.80 times 10 to the minus 3. So to convert that to grams, we multiply that by the MR of ethane dioic acid, which is 90. So there's that many grams of ethane dioic acid in the 82.62 grams of leaves. So obviously as a percentage, it's going to be that divided by that times 100. So there's the answer there. I'm giving it to three significant figures. That's appropriate because the lowest number of significant figures in all of the data supplied is three. 